David, are you prepared to take some questions? Is it going to hurt? No. <clears throat> I don't think so. <laughs> Anyone, if you have a question for David, uh, press star 8. Be before we do this, folks, I'm not going to personally uh, tutor you. I, I don't have time to do that. I I'm sorry. I just, I just don't. We have got to stay focused on our on our uh, uh, projects, so that we can come up with this information for you folks, so you can use it. Well, if you would tutor me, I would be greatly appreciative, and I can then teach everybody else. Can I, can I breathe into the phone? Yeah. <laughs> you can even talk dirty to me. <laughs> okay. We have some people lined up to ask you a question, David. How about it? Okay. Okay, capricious. Did, did, I, did I finally answer all your questions? Not really, but I'll get to you uh, privately and we'll go over them, I'm sure. Hmm. Capricious, did you have a question for David? Go ahead. Oh, yeah, John. thank you. Uh, hi, David. Um, John. <laughs> have you been able to determine the uh, jurisdiction of the original trustee? The what? The jurisdiction of the original trustee. Trustee is a is a lesser office than executor. What are you asking me? Well, the former trustee. That's what I mean. The the, the jurisdiction of the former. Um, what former trustee? There is no former trustee. There's none been appointed by the executor. You never appoint anyone as trustee. There are two trustees. Mom and dad. Okay. Uh, I get that. Mm -hmm. Did you take over so, the trust, or did you move it as well? No, we don't have to take over or move anything. You don't have to do anything. Sounds just, more like you're claiming it. It's real easy. It, yeah, that's all you're doing. You're just notifying him. Hey, hey, wait a minute. I understand what this is. This is an estate, and I understand my position. I occupy the executor or executrix office. Who in the hell are you people? Right. That's all you got to do. You don't have to file any notices. It's none of this notice stuff. I was listening to Dave Mack's broadcast, and they're going to Ron Class's broadcast, and they got a new this and a new that, and they're going to do this, and they're going to do that, and they're going to go into court, and they're going to do a test case, and they're going to do all this stuff. It's all confusion. And, and I'm not criticizing those folks. So they're well intended. Some of us. I don't get along with some of them, but 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 I know that their hearts are in the right the right place, you know. But they're just what what they're doing is they're pursuing remedies that the bar flies have programmed into your mind to pursue, and they lead nowhere. They're rabbit holes. I agree with that. They just are. And they're not that way because I say they are. They are that way because trust law says they are. I'm not telling you these things. and I'm not arguing this. And I'm not taking this position from what? A position of what David Clarence thinks. I'm communicating to you the principles and maxims of trust law. And those things I understand very well. I spent a lot lifetime studying them. Hi, David. I have a couple of questions. Um, I'm kind of confused here. If I were to sign a letter to the IRS that would be in the all caps name, but would I sign it my upper and lower case as? Yes, you always. You are always the upper and lower case. Okay. Now. David Clarence Troll would be capital D, capital C, capital S, and all of the rest of the name in lowercase. The way we're properly taught to write our names. So okay. That's uh, executor, uh, executor, and and when you write to them, you don't write as as uh, who you are. It's the office of executrix, dear. Yes. To the office of that IRS official. 
and the and then the occupant of that office, whoever transmitted the document to you, whether they're stating it or not, they're functioning in an office. Okay. They're all offices. And okay. you, to be in the position of power and to communicate with them properly, and it must be from office to office. Please understand that, folks. And know this is not a weapon of revenge. And know you can't demand that they pay you this and pay you that, and you've got this uh, uh, UCC lien of, of 280 trillion quadruple uh, billions of dollars, uh, and they got to pay it. No. Uh, you're going to have to operate uh, uh, soberly. <laughs> yeah, realistically. <laughs> realistically <laughs> and conservatively. This okay, is would not I say buy my upper and lower case or I would just sign? No. You don't sign oh, yes. buy you like you do in sign bank. everything BY colon. Right. Okay. Look, look at that PDF file okay. that, I, that we created for you. All right. And all you're going to do is you're going to substitute your all capitalized name, your upper and lower case name, and your mailing location. Just be sure. Please follow the format that I put there for you and make sure that if your your home address is 150 Main Street, that you write Main Street hyphen 150 and then the town. And those are all in upper and lower case. The only thing that's going to be in upper case, all upper case, is the estate name, the one off of the certificate of birth or the Social Security card. Okay, now my birth certificate I've, happens to be in upper and lower case. I, I've heard of instances where that is, in, tr is yeah, in fact. Yeah. I do, yeah. And, however, I do have, others have heard me say this before, but on the back of one of the birth, you know, my first birth, I was born in 1930. So it was a half a page. And later when that, I got that's a, a long, huh? That's that's the long form. Yeah, yes. And I got, yeah. Later they put it on a full page. And on the back of one of them it said, owned by, and it had my name in caps. There you go. There you go. Owned by the estate. They just didn't put the word estate after that all capitalized name. Yeah, but those so are they rats, saying by the human rats. upper and lower case, those... I'm owned by the estate? No, you're not owned by anything. Well, yeah, but it says... You, the living being, are owned by your creator, and that's all. Right, but this birth on the back of the birth certificate, it says <clears throat> owned by... But the all capitalized name owns the estate. Yeah, right. I I heard on, oh. I think it was, I don't know if it was Dave Mack's broadcast or on classes, but somebody said that they contacted the uh, 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 state uh, uh, agency that issued a certificate of birth, and they asked them if, if uh, who uh, uh, who owns that, that certificate of birth, and, she, and the response was the state does. Yeah, well, that's what I've always heard. Okay. Yeah, well, they're, they're saying state. Okay. <laughs> Which one? Just yeah, put an E. Yeah, there. just put an E in front of that word, and okay. now it makes sense to you. See? Now, they're just programmed to say what they're saying. They've been taught to say that. Well, the state owns it. Isn't that what we're taught? The state is God. See? The state rules over us. The state is all-powerful. All property is with the state. Yeah, yeah. All property is with the E state. Yeah, it's the E state, right. and and they just drop the E off the front of that word. So if state you had a and E state mean the same thing. They really do. An estate is a state. An E S T A T E is a state. S T A T E is what I'm telling you. Okay, I'm. This general post office, how do you get them to receive your mail, if that's what you put it? You mean how do I get them to receive our mail? Well, you know, usually it comes United States post office, and I know the general post office is still there, but you have to get your local... No, just, just, 
Well, you're going to have resistance by the postal service yeah. employees at the post office. Right. They don't want to recognize general post office. I'm guaranteeing you that, that that's in the postal treaties. It's there. General post is there. These these postal service employees, their Bible is the DMM, domestic mail manual. General post office ain't in there. General delivery is. Okay. They will not question the mail piece being addressed to general post office as long as the street location is there. And when you put hyphen 9998 after that zip code, that's going to the post office department side of the postmaster at that location. That's the, his zip code or her zip code. This, the, the normal zip code, hyphen 9998, is the general post post office. I thought you Sorry. Sounds like you just said eight there and said three, four nines? Or did you no. say nine, 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 eight? Please get our, our, okay. uh, example, example PDF document before okay. you do anything. Okay. Nancy, did you see it? I posted the I link. I didn't couple... because I didn't even, I, well, uh, okay. I was. Well, it's that. on the website. Uh, if you go to the, no. Tonight after our call, I'll have a new call notes up there with the link to it. So if you just go to the call notes page okay. and scroll down a little bit to where David Clarence was on a couple weeks ago, whenever it was, last month, and you go to the link there, it says um, info or call notes. It's right at the top of that page. Wonderful. Now, okay. let, let me interrupt you. Uh, three, three times now I've thought about I, I need to tell you this. So let me interrupt you, too. Okay. The three most important parts of this letter is, A, it's from the estate. It's being transmitted by the executor office. It's to the office of the party you're communicating with that sends you, sent you their paperwork. No matter what it is, it doesn't matter. A warrant, summons, uh, uh, notice, collection, uh, it, it doesn't matter. The, one of the, cr the most critical parts of this is look on that PDF file, and you will see where I've taken the number off of the registered mail receipt. The sticker itself, it's detachable from that registered mail receipt, and I put it on the face of that letter. By doing that, you're certifying the document that you're sending to them. This is a powerful tool, folks. We've had a completely different response from IRS and Treasury by doing that versus not doing it previously. So you're not sending that little a registered stick, mail. It's the number. Just it detaches it. Off, off of that registered mail sticker. Right. You put it on that document. Then you take it to a notary public, and you have it notarized. You sign it in front of them. Mm -hmm. Then you scan that cotton picker, or at least photocopy it in color. I want, I want you to do it in color. I would like you to print everything in blue if you can. Yeah. But I want you to do it in color so that sticker shows up vividly, okay. that it is the letter, uh, 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 the number sticker, and not just something typed in there, say, mm -hmm. on the copy. Mm -hmm. And you make copies of that. You send a copy of it to the state governor's office, office of executor to office of the governor. You send another copy to the state attorney general. Office from an office to executor to office of the attorney general, and you just send those regular mail. Oh, okay. Don't yeah, worry about yeah, whether yeah. they'll get them or not. They'll get them. <laughs> you send the certified copy to whoever sent you the paperwork, and what you're doing is returning all their abandoned paperwork because they abandoned it when they transmitted it to the. The estate, the executor's mm -hmm. office, with no no authority. 
They have no claim that they can bring against the estate. It's not possible. It's impossible. They cannot bring a claim. I don't care what you signed. It matters not what you did yesterday, what you said, what you admitted. I'm not sure you can get yourself out of prison doing this. You might be able to. It doesn't matter whether the children and youth took your children. It doesn't matter if you had a lawyer. Your lawyer will resign from the case if you have one. And you won't have to ask them to. You just tell them that you're now functioning in the executor's office for that all capitalized name as a state. You won't have a lawyer any longer, and you don't need one. Well, I don't have one, and I never have. Yeah. All righty. Thank that's you. good for you. Yeah, Thanks, yeah, I just want to know if it would get off a levy. <laughs> It, it may. I, I don't, I'm not sure dealing with the IRS if, if that'll work or not. Uh, well, it, can't it's you make a, little a demand bit of, uh, as, a, as the? No, you can't. You, you make you make no demands for anything okay. other than their authority to okay. administer the estate. Okay. If you folks <laughs> tweak this, I can guarantee you. If you t- tweak it and try and go to war with them, no. Okay. And and to make demands of them that you want this, you want that, you want this returned, you want that returned, uh, uh, it ain't it probably won't work for you. And you don't want to accuse You'll... them of fraud. No, okay. why well, accuse them of anything? Okay. They they are not they haven't committed any fraud. You're the one that's fraudulent because you haven't functioned in the office. Well, I haven't up in a, in any legal place. No, you haven't. You haven't no, they have stood in Yes, they have. They, they have, have complete authority to do what they've been doing. Because well, you've been malfeasant and misfeasant and not functioning in the office of executrix, dear. It's your okay. fault. I have one not last theirs. question if I can. It's about a W eight Ben, which I did put, you know, and it went date of death, which was birth date. Which I listening to you that sounds correct. Nope. Nope. Wrong date. The file date is the yeah. date. That's the date of death. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you said the birth date. No, we meant you said the birth date. Oh, all right. But at any rate, they sent me everything I sent them back, whereas other people that did it just like I did it got that accepted. Uh-huh. They sent me back all of my paperwork one year later without acting on it. Okay. And what was your goal? My goal was to establish myself as a foreign state. The wrong way I go. You are, you, you, you are always foreign to them, dear. You're a living being with landmarks. They didn't take my footprint. You don't? I was born before well, they you did have, that. <laughs> ah. But you have them. Well, yeah, I mean, I could go walk on the land of my bare feet, but they don't have them on the birth certificate. That, that's right. You can leave your landmarks, the imprint of your landmarks behind you as you walk, and they cannot. Right. The estate is still there, dear, whether they have your uh, footprints or not. Uh, all, all property is in the name of the executor, like land and the pertinences, no. et cetera? All property is in the name of the estate. It, 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 the executor owns nothing, and if you it, if you claim to own anything, you may find yourself prosecuted for uh, fraud on the on your own estate. This is the goal: you own nothing, you control everything. The estate owns it all; it's not yours. Stop calling it your car, your horse, your truck, your home. How does this yours, apply to, to my estate. property taxes or driver's license and Every, like this? Everything. What name's on the driver's license? No, Cap's name. Yep, the, the executor. Name. The executor. A certificate of birth and a driver's license is proof of the existence of the estate and the executor's office. It's not proof of a living being. Never has been. 
but it's the proof of those two entities, the estate and the office. So people could drive then? Um, basically, doesn't that put, if, you're, if we're operating as an executor, doesn't that make us like the king trustee? You're not operating. You're functioning in the office, sir. Are functioning in the office. Okay, so then we're administrating the office yes, of executor? Yes, the executor. Yes, you could look at it that way, that the executor administers the estate, yes. And you're the only one who has authority to do that. Unless you've specifically delegated the authority to someone else. No one else can trespass on that authority. Then the million dollar question is, <laughs> do we need driver's license and tags <laughs> and, and and pay taxes on property? Does it matter? Actually, you don't. I mean, can, can this um, be used in, in that fashion, which is one of the... But no, uh, what, do, do you not? And I've told folks this for many years. Uh, forget about this travel issue. So many people get tied up in this. Well, I want to travel without a license, without insurance, without registration, and this and that. You need to take baby steps. You get through the infancy. You've got to reprogram your mind, retrain yourself, acquire the ability to look at everything from a different perspective. You've got to own the subject before you try and Ex, uh, uh, ins, exert or or function without registrations and licensing and things like that. I'm sorry. What what can this be used for then? I mean, is this for like paying debts for taxes or what? What really is this? <laughs> what really is? This I don't used know. For? It's used for everything. Well, right. But I mean, what, there, what, what? there is there's nothing lawful that that the estate cannot function in. There's there's no nothing lawful that the executor or executrix office cannot do. Can you discharge debts? Uh, can you pay bills? Can you live off of this? Yes That's and my no. Question. Okay. Yes. Yes. I I know. I know. I know. I understand. The answer is yes and no. Uh, yes, you can. No, you can't because you don't own it yet. You're not competent to do that. So, in other words, there's a, there's a line that that will move with the, uh, your skill and ability to administrate the uh, uh, the executor position. Yes, to administer the estate. Yes. Once you acquire the the knowledge and discernment and experience to how to do that properly, then then the your wings will unfold. So anyway, there's always, as always happens, people go to court, they get in front of the judge, they do everything right, and they are ignored, and they and they move forward. Regardless. And they won't believe it. Right. So they what? have to own it. How, I said if you're gonna if you're gonna be intimidated with the threat of your children being taken your home or you put in jail by that lying lawyer you're going to lose. So don't even try it. Just pay the bill, pay the revenue, pay the tribute, give them whatever they want, and forget about it until you're ready to do it. Okay, but the question is, how how does one approach it when... Yeah, so, so I mean, okay, so you're ready to go to bat. Okay, you're ready to take it all away. All right. What methods, uh, what approach, okay, is needed? Uh, what do we have available? Because it seems to me at that point, now you okay. So, so what happens is a person gets in the court, they're ready to go all the way. Breaking up, can't hear you. Okay, hold on a second. Couple Last thing I heard was you said okay. He says okay, so a person gets into court, and what else? And and you're ready to go all the way, and they and they ignore you. At some point, you need to get into the law books to sue them to prove that you are who you say you are, and they are not who they claim they are. You can't bring a suit from your estate into their court. 
you don't have the standing in there. Yet the state has no standing in the courts of the world because the state is the court. How, how did, how, how, okay, what, oh, wow, okay, what are the roots to, the, what is the criteria and the roots to that conclusion? Look up the definition of court in Black's Law Dictionary. The definition of court in Black's Law Dictionary is the suit of the sovereign with their regal retinue, wherever they may be. Right. Is the court. That's, That's saying suit of the estate. Oh, suit of the but estate. I thought it was the person or something. And the suit of the. You cannot bring that that suit in the barfly world courts, and they're all barfly world courts. Every court that you can think of in existence at this moment is a is a fraudulent, artificial, make believe court system. It's not court. And, and, your, and the estate has no standing in there. The defendant or the plaintiff, fictional entity in that realm, can go into that court and file suit. But you don't. You by doing that, you abandon the estate and your true power and authority. That's exactly what the fallen angels did. See. They abandoned the estate of the kingdom of heaven. All right. If if you're going to approach them with the idea that they're going to ignore you, you've already lost. Who in the hell are they to ignore you? I already told you. They will regard you as almighty God as they regard God, functioning in that office of executor, executrix. They, you might get a nasty barfly that'll try and resist that. Listen to me. You already know this. They're masters at twisting language and words, and they're the deceivers. They are the, the occupants of the only office in Scripture that's specifically condemned. Woe unto ye lawyers. They are snakes. They are deceivers. They, they, they'll, uh, 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 they have deceit and intimidation is their tools. Which one are you going to fall for? Yeah. Hey, Dave. How you doing? I'm doing pretty cotton-picking good. How about yourself? This is Al. I don't know if you remember. Hey, Al. Yeah. We of course used... I do. Okay. Well, um, man, you're a hard, hard man to to reach these days. I busy. Tried to call you and try to Skype you. And... Busy, busy, busy. Hey, it sounds like you're at least you're still alive and doing well. Good deal. Mm-hmm. Um, do you hey, have a question? Sounds like you got switched over to uh, the the commerce world now. No, this is not commerce. Is, is that it's, okay? It may hey, sound, is, it may is, sound is like commerce. Account? Is that the, the legacy account? Is that what that no. is? No. Is that totally? No, is that something to, totally different? That's the next step. Oh, the legacy account is is the next step. Oh, okay. That's um, the next so step. So I was just place. curious. I mean, what uh, this hmm, this uh, direct. Treasure counter. Would that breaking be the same up thing as the, area. Would that be the same thing as the prepaid treasury account? Is that the same thing, or is that different? The treasury direct account or the legacy account? The uh, the direct the direct um, is that the same thing treasury. as prepaid treasury account? No, but it leads to it. Oh, it leads to that. Okay. All right. Well, anyway, hey. Uh, the, pre the prepaid account is the assets of the estate. Uh-huh. So, uh, um, well, I know a lot of people have uh, that, been trying to stop the um, prepaid treasury account for quite a while now. <laughs> and, uh, obviously, uh, yeah. uh, you know, we or 
the people are just not authorized to take control and operate that account for some reason. Um, They're not functioning in the office of executor or executrix. Uh-huh. I see. Uh-huh. So, all right. Well, that's that's all the question I have. Dave, it's good to hear you again, but uh, maybe one of these days I can it's reach you. Uh, not so busy. We'll chat. Okay. One of the things that I hear is is that we must own it. I understand what you're saying. I understand yeah. the problem. I it has understand to be confident. the problem. Exactly. And what we've been doing is we've been operating out of order and not in the office of the executive. Now he dropped off Angela. He said we have been operating out of order and not in the office of the executor. Yes, out of order and dishonor. So, my question is, uh, when we utilize this process as executor, do we, uh, on your paperwork, I noticed that you put periods after every, um, in in the salutation. Yes. Yes, every line. Yes, and so the lawyer can't presume authority to add to that line. I understand. That was my question. So the whole thing... When when you say something that you mean, or mom and dad told you something that they meant, they said, period. (laughs) Period, exactly. Yes. Exactly. They were functioning in the office when they were doing that to you. (laughs) I understand. (laughs) <laughs> yeah. Because they have the authority. They have the authority. They do, granted by the Almighty. And that was my last question. That's all these estates are, a recognition in the world of the authority of the Almighty. Last question, you led into it. When the parents who operated uh, as uh, executors of the estate had passed and you are now taking control of your estate as the executor in this process that we're going to learn can you I then, off after the word executor how far back can the uh, the executor of the state go back to in the lineage of those who had authority over his estate before. There is no limit. A very very astute of you, young man, to perceive that concept. You are the the oldest son of your current family unit. Uh, by law is is the executor over the parents and grandparents and great grandparents uh, estates. Uh the law is the first in line is the first in time. So if you step up, even though uh, I have an older brother, he has no. Uh, I, I bounce this stuff off of him, but he doesn't get it. Um, I understand. Uh, I'm the younger brother, and I don't really have the standing of the estates of my parents, and I'm about to access those probably oh. in, a, in about a month. Uh, I understand where you're going with this. Uh, I have the authority to do that because my brother's not functioning in the office of executor. He's uh, misfeasant and malfeasant. I understand what you're doing now. It makes sense. Uh, My last question. I'm I'm very Uh, interested in talking to you, young man. You seem to have a grasp of this. I've been I've been at this now for almost ten years, so I'm 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 really hanging on every word you say. It it makes sense to you, doesn't it? You get yes, it. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Yes, because and and I can tell by the tonality of your voice that you understand it comes from your Creator. Right. Now. Yeah. Right. I go the story of uh, Esau <laughs> and Jacob. Exactly. And, and the whole under undergirding 
of how that happened. It is it's amazing. Yeah. See what they've done to us in this world system? They've made us all Esau's. See what they've done to us. They, they've gotten to, through their delusion. Uh, what, what does the word say? My my children are, are destroyed yeah. for a lack of knowledge. Because of lack of knowledge. Say. Correct. And, what, and, God what said, and God said that he would send them a strong delusion when they wouldn't yeah. accept he, him. Yes. And hasn't he done that? Amazing. Hasn't he warned us? This is mm -hmm. a delusion. Very interesting. He also says that at some point all truth will be revealed. And and I especially, Timothy and I see this, uh, uh, not just with what we're doing, but with the uh, 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 the research uh, that uh, the commerce people and Rod Class and a lot of a lot of people that are uh, uh, turning up this uh, knowledge and information discernment uh, how we're gaining a, a new perspective on on learning and dealing with this world system that, uh, that these are truly those times when we will know the truth and the truth shall set us free. I will email you and get in touch with you later. Good. Hello, David. Hello, Angela. Canada boy here. Uh, I was chasing a claim of right and a notice of intent and a hold harmless and identify agreement and a security agreement to secure my... <laughs> and now I'm looking at an express common law I'm trust. And I just heard... Why do you want to... I'm chuckling because why do you want to create all this? See, those are commerce concepts that yeah, are that's what uh, I thought that's uh, how I thought yeah. that we could achieve remedy because I've only been studying this for about nine months I've read cracking yeah. the code uh, UC articles one and three and remedy for a cure and a whole bunch of other articles my question was uh, how does a Canadian guy get that letter to the CRA to set up his ex his estate and become the executor of that? You 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 you're not going to set up any estates. It's already right. there, and That's this right. this applies anywhere on this planet where the individual has a certificate of birth. Okay. Anywhere, especially the United States and Canada. Yeah, I was born in Monta Manitoba. So uh, two mm -hmm. provinces over for me. So I'd have to contact somebody in Manitoba and direct them that I'm now going to take over the executive. You don't have to contact anyone. You just well, respond to their paperwork. Yeah, with that letter that you've drafted here, and I'm looking at it. It's a very tight letter, but again, it's all directed for yep. the U.S. So that was my general question on any uh, Canadian. Just uh, broke up. Uh, that letter uh, that you drafted is directed for the U.S. So I was just wondering if there's any Canadian relevance to that. You keep breaking up. I'm sorry. That's the okay. Last thing I heard was the word letter that I drafted. Is geared for U.S. Uh, IRS, not the CRA in Canada, so I would not know how to go about doing this, setting up this whole thing, like pursuing the information to file the documents and everything. Hello. What documents do you want to file, Your Honor? Well, you said we have to mail this. Uh, you just want to return their paperwork and stop correct. what they're doing. Correct. So in order to do that, we send off this letter saying, I am giving you back your paperwork, private law barcode, and rolling it. You keep my breaking driver. up. The last part I heard, the last part I heard was uh, something about office or something. I'm not sure where to, again, you just said you directed us to send this letter saying that we are giving them back their abandoned paperwork in Canada. They broke up again. Whoever <laughs> transmitted the, the paperwork to you, that's uh, a nuisance. I see, I see. Is oh, occupying would, an office. Yeah, I would contact you. return the paperwork to the office, care of the individual. Right, and that was 40 just years ago. Follow the, <laughs> yeah. So I have to find out the probably statistics of Canada and find out which office mailed it out and find out who that's mailed it. That's your Dutchman dollar. Whatever that issue is, it's the last you'll hear of it. Right. Okay. All right, then. Well, I'll try and scratch into this paperwork some you, more and you, figure it out. You, I'm a fan of Richard Menard. Yeah, that's Robert, what got me started Robert, in all this. Robert, uh, Robert Menard? Yeah, that's what got me started in all this, was uh, Robert Menard. He's been uh, excommunicated, <laughs> disenfranchised up there. Yeah. 
you get you get this information to him, and he uses this and functions from the executor's office. He'll get okay. it all back. Okay, I'll pass this forward to him and uh, let him know. All right, well, thank you for your time, and uh, hopefully once Robert gets his teeth into this, he can help give us some Canadian direction. <laughs> yeah. Tell him not to go to war with it. Do not use war tactics. Do not go to war with these people. You Try are... and make peace with them. Oops. They'll leave you alone. Yeah, no, uh, no, I would not go to war with these people. I have problems with them right now. They rejected my driver's license because I included a UCC1 addendum on my signature. They said it's not a legal signature. I would need a court order. Hmm. But that's all well and good. Okay, well, thank you for your time, Angela and Dave. Have a good night. UCC1's yeah, not working. Folks, do not try and intermix these estate procedures with commerce tactics and UCC stuff. You're going to uh, just scuttle it. You, you're defeated. You, you, you won't succeed. They're, they're two different law forms. They do not intermix. Forget about the commerce and the UCC stuff. Go ahead, George. I do have a question for David. Yes, I'm, I'm looking at this paperwork here, and I'm getting the sense that from you that this is a, as it were, defensive tactic. I mean, we're just, we're just, if they're bothering us about something, we share this with them. We don't worry about it Breaking otherwise. She says if they're bothering us with something, we, what was it, ma'am? We, we use we, we don't bother with it otherwise. This is if they're trying to to, to harass us with something. Yes. Will this work if you're already in garnishment under IRS? They have liens against you. Uh, they're about to sell your home. I don't know. Try it. I, 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 we don't have any experience with that. We don't know. It, it may or may not. Uh, just don't modify the format of the letter. Don't add page two, page three, I'm going to do this. If you don't do that, you got to do this because of this and this and that. Don't add to it. It works the way it is. Leave it alone. On your, on your um, county notary, highest office in law is actually what I looked under on the Google search. And that's how I came up with this on a, on a page. Is this is this the the place where we learn about what you're sharing? Is there somewhere else I would need to go? Learn more about how to do this and what to do it. Uh, there's information on there that, that is uh, relevant to this. There's uh, in the file sections, there are uh, uh, trustee handbooks and things like that in PDF format that are that's how the executor operates in the executor office. Teaches well, you how to do that. I guess she's in the right place. What? She would just go to your Google group? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Go in the file section. Okay, so I could learn I could learn more about what you're doing. Somebody encouraged me to get on your call and I never heard of you before and I never knew but it <laughs> sounded like you might have a pretty good handle on what we're trying to understand. So thank you very much. You're very welcome, dear. Thank you for coming on. Okay. Can David hear me clearly? No, I can. Okay. I was I was on the uh, Dun and Bradstreet uh, website, and I was looking under the countries, and I noticed that they had for the Vatican, they had Holy See as an S-E-E, all in lowercase. Yep, they sure do, don't they? And everything else wasn't. I heard yeah, the part about the they have the whole... Yeah. So I was looking for that, uh, that uh, what did you say you called it, the uh, minor outline islands? They didn't have it in that section for the Dun & Brad. Like I said, it, not everywhere on the Internet where you're filling out a form will that be an option. You, United States Minor Outlying Islands. Uh -huh. that, won't, that, won't, that won't be there. You can abbreviate those by the capital letter M and the capital letter U. 
as the abbreviation for the United States Minor Outlying Islands. So just M U or M dot U uh, dot I mean M no. period. Capital M, capital U, no periods. Okay. Like like A Z or P A. Okay. Or M D. Well, on the D O T, I went out there. They don't have that that uh, that uh, uh, how would you say it? Your, that option anymore. No, they don't. They do okay. have. Other, other, or unknown. Yeah, other, state. other unknown. Yeah, they have other unknown. That's what I use. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. That's what they're saying. Without putting the United States minor outlying islands in there. Oh, uh, I see. Okay. Well, it's the they don't have a country designation. Uh, at least I don't believe they do. But the. All the states listed on on the DOT there are all corporate states, but see, you're not the estate is not located there. The estate is located on the land that you're standing on, and all those choices that you have in there are all corporate fiction states. So, in order to give you a remedy to that to designate your your being located on the land, they put the word other for the state name in there. Oh okay. Uh, I think I, I, I've been listening no, to you quite a bit. I can't hear you. Okay, I've been listening to quite a bit of your archives and so forth, and then you give a, and you give a lot it's of. Really breaking, breaking, breaking up, Andrew. Well, I can't he's, hear. Okay, he's saying he's been listening to a lot of the archives. Okay. And what mm-hmm. else? And you mentioned about you give out a lot of nuggets. And you mentioned you give out a lot of nuggets. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're in there. And uh, I I believe I might have found the big nuggets, but I'm not positive. And I'm not sure if, I, if, if you'd want me to say it over the air. But sure. maybe I'll just, I just email it to you. No, Why not? Ahead. Yeah, go ahead. go ahead. The nuggets are there for you to find. Well, I, well for my impression. From my interpretation and analysis of those uh, archives, is you want people to figure it out for themselves, and someone just to come yes. out and say it. Yes. Then no, I own it. So, uh, and, and I, I get the truth what you're saying about that, so people understand what they're what they're doing, and if they're confronted, they know what to say. Yes. Rather than let's say, uh, well, this is. You know, grab a, grab a glass of water and drink it, and they don't know what's even inside the water. How'd you do tonight, my friend? How are you doing? I'm well, and yourself? I'm pretty cotton picking good. You handled the. Uh, yeah, handled it well. See. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. No, I just called to, uh, this, I guess, tell this man that I'm out here listening, <laughs> at least the tail end of this uh, um, great lesson. Timothy, folks, this is a smart guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was given to me. That's you not my it. own. Yeah, he said he just wanted to call in at the tail end of this call and let you know he was out there listening. Um, David's having a hard time hearing you, West okay. Central Illinois. Yeah, that Comcast has got to go. Uh, You're welcome. All right, we have one more question. Let's get on to it. Uh, Kokomo Joe, go ahead. Well, I I meant to say the person and the e-state must be the same. Yes, the estate is a foreign, is a fictional entity. It is a person, a human being. Yes. Okay. I looked up yeah. I looked up the definition in international law okay for the for the person and the suit of the sovereign the place where the sovereign sojourns with his regal retinue wherever that may be so I figured since you said it was the estate then the estate and the person must be the same now I broke up he last the heard person this, he and said, the estate since, yeah since since I figured and then I couldn't. Well, he he did a lot of research, and he had discovered that the person and the estate must be the same. 
Right. I looked it up. I uh, looked up the definition that he was talking he said he about looked earlier. Up the definition that you were talking about earlier. I, I I wouldn't disagree with that, but I would caution you, uh, referring to the estate as a person. Uh, if they wanted, if the world system wants to do that, that's fine. Uh, it it may not be uh, uh, completely inaccurate, but I would stick to the word estate. Okay. And thank and you. That's you it. Functioning from the office of executor executrix. That's all important. You cannot deviate from this. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, you're welcome. Going out and you're working every day, uh, interacting in the world as not as executor. You're 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 some type of a matrix battery of some kind, a, a asset of the world, uh, laborer, uh, 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 goyim, uh, cattle, all right, uh, the living man or woman, in doing that. Th that's the only way they'll ever look at you and all the paperwork you're trying to use and uh, commerce techniques and notices and UCC filings are from that position, that standing as cattle, incompetence. That's why they're lording, lording over you is because you're incompetent in their eyes. You're not functioning in the executor or executrix office. Well, it looks like it. We don't have any more questions. And we've gone oh, an hour over, an hour and eight minutes over our usual time. Did anyone else have a question? Press star eight. Otherwise, uh, we're going to wrap this baby up. And, David, I will get with you on Skype, and we can go over this some more if you don't mind. Not necessarily tonight, but when you have the time. You're breaking up, Angel. Oh, my goodness. I don't know why that's happened, but anyway, um, no, it's, I can hear you. it's been a great call. We've gone almost three hours. No, I can't. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Well, I don't know why that's happening. Next time, I'll try something well, maybe else. Maybe the company doesn't like the subject. Maybe. Uh, <laughs> I know they've made it difficult to get into the chat and into talk to you. I've had, I've had several Skypes on the side saying they were having a hard time getting in it. These are the subjects Timothy and I were covering when they banned uh, us from talk show again. Was it these topics? Yes, uh, the state. Yeah. Well, we had a whole bunch of trolls in the chat. I had to keep muting them out. <laughs> but I think I was ready for it. I wasn't. Uh... Critics. Oh, yeah, you know. People say that you're a rip-off and a scam artist and go read this complaint and that, you know, type of stuff and whatever. Yeah, that's Lou. Lou Poop. Oh, well. Lou's got the right name, last family name, Poop. A lot of wine. Doesn't serve any cheese with his wine. Uh, he... <laughs> That's all right. Let the critics say what they want, folks. Uh, I, I've already responded to all that stuff before. Uh, I'm not asking you for a nickel. I'm not going to. Uh, they can say what they want. If they're going to tell you that I have a uh, the name has a criminal history, uh, that's old, old uh, history. Uh, uh, they can say what they want. If, if they're going to suggest that those barfly courts uh, produce a uh, decision that's based on justice, <laughs> that it's a, real, uh, a true trial uh, where you can uh, actually defend yourself, uh, they're idiots. You know, it's it's just ludicrous. Uh, the people who know me know that I'm a, a man of integrity and honesty. I, I am a sinner. Uh, a condemned sinner, but um, uh, I just have not gone through my life uh, harming people. I, I don't. It's not my nature to do that. It just isn't. And uh, a lot of the record reflects what it is. But the fact of the matter is, if I hadn't spent all those years uh, in solitary confinement with law books and and scripture, 
I wouldn't be telling you the things I am today. Uh, those were crosses that I had to bear to get to uh, the point where I am in my life and, and understanding and knowledge and discernment and things like that. And, and that I don't have a problem with it. it. For those who do have a problem with it, um, uh, kiss my crippled butt <laughs> for all I care. <laughs> we have one more question. Go ahead, Capricious. Hey there, David. It's, uh, Capricious again. Um, I was just wondering if you basically have you exercised your discretion thus far with your new since you got your notification. I caught part of that, Sean. You said, "Have I exercised my discretion in what respect?" With your new identification. No, I'm not interested in exercising anything per se. My main goal is to come out of this out of the system. Uh, I, I don't believe I'll be able to drag the name out of this system, the you know, ALCAP's name. But uh, I'm attempting to do is get the powers to be, so to be, uh, to uh, recognize my standing as a child of Yahweh, separate from them, immune to their nonsense, and uh, and uh, operate in the office of executor and. Uh, operate the estate uh, for the benefit of my brothers and sisters. That's kind of what I meant, if you'd actually been able to to use it yet. There are things in the works <laughs> as we speak. Well, we're going to be keeping an eye on you, David, and watch how you progress. Um, <laughs> I I'm uh, fairly confident we have managed to cash in a Social Security card wow. and access those funds. Oh, really? Coming in the mail. Oh, fabulous. The Treasury Direct account uh, was one of those uh, efforts. Uh, uh, contracting with the Federal Reserve is another one. Uh, our interest in doing that <laughs> is, is not to get into banking. Our interest in in uh, being recognized as a financial institution is to be able to transact QSIP accounts and get people out of prison, stop foreclosures and, and, and uh, things like that, and IRS uh, levies uh, through the Fed. That's the goal. Mm -hmm. Very good. All right, Capricious, was that it for you? That'll do. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, we're going to move on. We've got one more. Go ahead, Georgia. I was just looking at this um, trustee handbook and wondering about, I haven't gotten all the way through yet, trustees, beneficiaries, interstate law, um, I saw only one or two sections on executor. Is that, I mean, do I just want to, sure. on the whole book, or just look at that, that get to know that area specifically very well, or? You, you have to master that book, ma'am. Okay. okay. You've got to master Loring's or someone's trustee handbook. Okay. Then, then you will begin to own the the uh, issue, uh, subject of the, of the estate and functioning in the Office of Executrix. Well, it's, uh, it's really neat what's going on. I know that our father has a way of teaching his children what we need and when, and I'm very thankful. For yes, he does, doesn't he? Well, we're thankful that David came on and gave us his... Uh, explanation of what he's done, kind of, sort of. We need more. <laughs> it's never enough, right, David? Oh, uh, you're breaking up now, dear. Oh, gosh. We need a couple more hours with you, David. I don't know why I'm breaking up. Everybody yeah, else can hear me. Hear fine. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, well. Now I can hear you. I think we're going to wrap up the show. We've answered everyone's questions, I think. Um, we're two minutes away from being on for three hours, which is an hour more than I usually stay on. 
but it was well worth it. I wanted to hear you out completely. And it's very intriguing what you're doing, and I, I want to learn more about it. Could you hear well, me? Yes, I did. <laughs> okay. Uh, folks, uh, <laughs> invariably there are going to be those of you who are going to uh, uh, join these conferences tomorrow night uh, that these lawmen and commerce gurus and people are putting on uh, nothing I can say is, is going to stop you from doing that. I understand that. That's, that's fine. But uh, maybe I've given you or my, my fondest uh, desire is I've given you a different perspective from which you can now view what these men are telling you and what they're trying to sell you and this and that. Uh, you can you can do what you want to do. Uh, you don't have to listen to me. Um, <laughs> just uh, yeah, but uh, invariably, uh, like I said, those those folks are, for the most part are well-meaning and uh, they are not uh, intent on doing you any harm or this and that. They just really don't understand. That's all. Uh, why do why do we understand and they, and they don't? We don't know. Uh, we don't question it. We accept it as a blessing and, and, and treat it as that. Yeah, well, you're just at a different level in your research. I think it has a lot to do with it. I like to listen to all the different speakers out there because I think it rounds out my education. doesn't mean I'm necessarily going to hang my hat on anything they say, but you never know. You get a golden tidbit here and there, a golden nugget, as the other gentleman said, and you know, we listen and we learn. And then we decide what path we're going to take. Yeah. Right? Yes. And hopefully it's the right one. Each each, each individual will uh, march to the beat of a different journal. Right. Georgia, did you have anything else to say? You've got your hand up again. Yes. This, uh, the class of trusts treated in this handbook are those trusts which are expectedly created by deed or will. Which is this? I understand. I understand that. Look at that Treasury Direct letter. What does that say? Um, uh, it's I'm gonna the all caps name. The all caps name, and then it's uh, it says trustee under the will of David Clarence Schroll, deceased. Say uh, they're regarding it as a trust, and that's fine. And and in reading those. Uh, um, uh, um, trustee handbooks, a lot of the references are going to be to worldly things like deeds and things like that, see. But you're completing this letter and transmitting it to the office that, that sent you the abandoned paperwork is the deed of the executor functioning in the office. Okay, so, so they didn't this this trust was created by them giving me a deed? The certificate of birth is, among other things, a deed, yes. Okay. It's a death certificate. It is a certification of a death or the cre and the creation of the estate. So, so they decided that the baby that was born is dead and made an estate from that death and made an executor which was which would probably be not known to the baby and the baby's ignorant probably even all his life perhaps and so that they can do whatever they see fit with it until we grow up enough to become sons uh, uh, adults and understand that we're executors. Yes. Yes, you're 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 correct. All, all they're doing is they're recognizing that the Lord God Yeshua paid all the debts on the cross for everything. There are no debtors, so they uh, the, the they the world treats us as debtors, 
because they want to steal the fruits of your labor. And, and they, rec- they realize, they know, uh, uh, that the, the Lord paid all the debts. So uh, in my thinking or understanding of all this is that uh, they're creating these estates as maybe an excuse on Judgment Day, you know, something like that. I, I, I don't really know. But uh, what it comes down to is they cannot, uh, the world cannot go against the will of Yahweh in what they're doing. He won't allow them to do that. He constrains them. So that the way they operate in, in deceit, okay, uh, they're, they're doing things deliberately so that they don't incur the anger of Yahweh. They're creating these estates so that they get away with, with being able to operate in the world the way they are. Otherwise, he would just put a stop to it. It really is that, that true and that simple. So the law that brings us to understand our need for our Savior, uh, this is like a... What's coming to my mind is this is like the the law that's coming at, that, that's protecting us from in a way from our they're like like our father our our paternal um, protection as it were until we come to maturity enough to take it ourselves that's kind of the way they see themselves as taking care of us and then probably is. We grow up and we say, "Oh, well, I'm the executor here, and uh, and I need to take responsibility now." And then, and and yes. after that, then they can't. They they say, "Oh, well, we can't touch her anymore because she knows who she is." Right. Yes. Yes. Okay. This is this is this is really. You got it. You got it, dear. Thank you, brother. You got it. Thank you. Great. We've still got a couple more questions, but this is it, you guys. I got to go. I'm going to have to be with my son in a little bit. Thank you, Georgia. I appreciate you being on the call and having an aha moment. (laughs) Non-member, go ahead. Non-member, did you have a question? Yeah, uh, uh, when we sign any documents now, are we to are we to write Office of Executor? Oh. oh, you're always to sign upper and lower case, comma, Executor. Always. You sign okay. B-Y uh, colon. Okay, B-Y, B-Y colon. colon. Upper and B-Y lower case. B-Y colon. First and last? Yes. Yes. B-Y colon, upper and lower case, your full name. First, middle, and last, comma, executor on everything. Okay. Even your checks. Okay. Is that office of executor? No, nope. just... it's just executor. Just executor. Right. Okay. But whenever you, whatever you communicate in writing, it's always going to be from the, the estate. It's, the communication is coming from the estate by the office of executor. Okay. Uh, thank you. And use those certified mail numbers. Yeah. Uh-huh. And get a get a green card. Once okay. they sign for that, it's too late for them. They're done. <laughs> They're finished. Read the website, uh you United States Postal Service tracking. When you put that certified mail piece in the mail, it's designated as accepted. They've accepted the certified document. When they've signed for it, it's been received. It's too late. They've signed for it before they opened it and saw what was inside. They're done. Okay. Okay. Is that good enough? I was uh, I was signing the, the name as all lowercase. But you're saying it does have to be the first letter. It does have to be. He's breaking up, Angela. He said he he was signing everything all lowercase before. 
always writing in all lowercase is the best way. Okay, how about for, but for the for the signature? You you said to do uppercase is lowercase. Upper or lowercase? Lower. That's the way that they'll recognize it in the world. You can sign it all lowercase. Okay. All right. David, give out your uh, email again. People are asking for it. County Notary, all one word, C-O-U-N-T-Y-N-O-T-A-R-Y at Gmail. That's God Mail, and our God is Almighty Yahweh, at gmail.com. Okay. Um, okay. Got two more questions. Real quick, Georgia, go ahead. Oh, did I hit it again? <laughs> oh, did you? I, I guess. Did you want to ask another question? Um, well, this is just so so neat. I sure appreciate you taking the time to share this with people. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thanks, David. Well, and, thank me. Thank your thank your creator Yahweh. And uh, and so we can just we can email you with with um, thoughts or questions as we go through and, mm. and learn this stuff? Yeah, yes, and, and what I'll do is I'll take uh, what I, I I think are the best ones and I'll post it to the Google group in a response. You, you'll get the response and then everybody that's a member of the group will get it also. I'll redact your email address and your name out of it. Okay, so... So did I get into a Google group to get into this file? Yeah, you have to join though. I have to You don't join. have to join you don't have to join to access the files and messages that are on the group. It's just if you want to receive an uh a posting that that we transmit to the group about a subject then you have to uh join the group. Is there some kind of requirement to join the group? No, just an email address. Okay. I I I ask that you either uh, choose uh, abridged or uh, uh, some type of email that you. If you choose no email in joining it, uh, I will change that a few times. If you keep changing it back, I'll ban you. <laughs> That's the only I thing I ask. Is that you I don't think she understands what you're saying, David. Just um, well, you have you op- you have options on how you receive email from the groups. Sometimes you can choose to digest or individual emails. And he's just saying not to put on there. Don't make the option no email, or else they'll take you off. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's you know. Why would she join if she wasn't intending on getting your emails, right, David? <laughs> Anyway, all right. okay. All right, great. But anybody can go on the group and access all the the messages that have been there, posted on there, and all the files are in the file section and download them. But if they want to get so, your email, they need to join the group. If they want to be kept up to date on what we're doing in the progress and things like that, and then they have to join the group. You know. Okay, Kokomojo. Go ahead. You had one more question. Can you hear me? Yep. Okay. Um, is uh, you're referring to, or a couple of people referred to Treasury Direct Letter? Is you, that the same thing? Out. Okay. He said that a few people had referred to a direct di- Treasury Pre- Direct Letter. Is that the same as the no, estate executor <laughs> office letter? Yeah, that's the letter. Yeah. It's the same. It's the same letter, then, right? It's the same, the same letter. Okay, right. thank you. That's all I wanted to know. Okay. It's, it's, it's the most recently posted item in the file section. Yeah, it's a PDF. It's there. All right. Well, good. We have to close it out. I have to go be with my son. I love you, everybody. Thanks for coming on the call, David. Thank you so much. I appreciate your patience and your taking the time to explain this stuff to us because... I accept that on Timothy's behalf and, more importantly, uh, our Father Yahweh's behalf. Well, we need to learn. Yeah, but it's good that you took the time to explain it to us. It's another tidbit we didn't know about before, and now we know, so we can pursue that. And um, 
you recommended everyone learn that. Which book was it? A trust book? Warren's trustee handbook is one of them on there. There's, I think there's several different ones. Lori? And you can find others on the Internet. Okay, so it's just a trustee handbook. Yeah, just type in trustee handbook in any search engine, Loring's, and others will come up. You know, free, you can download in PDF files. All right, great. We will do that, and uh, we'll have you on again. And keep us up to date on what you're doing and any successes that come through. I'm you're breaking I'm, up again. I, okay. I, I love hearing from you, David. So we'll we'll have you on again. Can you hear me okay? You're, you're welcome, dear. Go function in the office of mommy. <laughs> All right, I will. Thank you, everybody. <laughs> I love you, and we'll see you on Sunday with John Stewart. Hey, folks.